guys, Joe here, agree to disagree, and sorry I'm a little late, but I'm reviewing The Hangover 3. Now, going into The Hangover 3, I did not want to see this at all. Uh, the first one pretty much killed the series for me, so I thought. I was a fan of the first one. Uh, it was overhyped. It was definitely overhyped. You know, people are saying it's the funniest, you know, comedy ever. It's overhyped. But I like it. I did like it. Second one should not have been made. It was just a rehash. It, it was stupid. It was the first one. Again, I, I didn't like it. So the third one I was not excited for in the least bit. And I'm pleasantly surprised to say that it was actually not bad. And I'm going to say it exactly like that. That it was okay. And I'm going to say it was okay because although it wasn't funny, I only laughed twice. It was good, well, if that makes if that makes sense. It wasn't funny, but it wasn't bad, and it was the Hangover, which is weird. It actually had not an amazing story, but a story that kept you compelled and interested, and really just the characters. You really got to see the characters again, and you cared more about the characters and the story than you really did the laughs. Oh, in my case, at least. And I was sitting there with a smile, I was ready to laugh, and halfway through, my smile was gone, and I'm like, I'm not going to be laughing. But I still had a good time. And, yeah, let me just get more spe specific. The acting, uh, you know, everyone else was pretty much how they were in past movies. Besides Alan, I will say, Zach Galifianakis, what was up? I He wasn't funny. I... He barely spoke. I mean, like, he really was not what he was in the past movies at all. And, I don't know, he he felt weird to me in this. And then, you know, everyone else, Bradley Cooper, they, they were all pretty much the same. Uh, so I thought. And then there was John Goodman. And John Goodman was definitely good, I think. For, for, for this role, he did great. And... I don't know who else I would like to see in that role other than John Goodman. He did that pretty good. And there was Melissa McCarthy, who I'm not a fan of, but she was barely in it, so it's good. You know, I, I don't like her. So uh, if they're going to have her, just use her a little bit. So that was that's good. Uh, story, though. Story, though, was really good. And I wasn't expecting that. And there was... A few times, you know, it was predictable, but a few times, except for, like, one part, like, kind of in the middle. And I, I don't know. I found myself very much into it the entire time. The directing was good. I mean, you know, it's nothing incredible. Nothing. I'll probably be winning awards over. But definitely good and better than the second one. This actually felt like an actual sequel. As opposed to Hangover 2, which just felt like nothing. This felt like an actual sequel. They were back in Vegas. It's something I did like in the writing. They brought up a lot about, not really the second one, but, but the first one especially. They brought up a lot and didn't really ignore anything. It really felt like a sequel in that it was, they were really mentioning everything that's happened before. And a, a lot of things, a lot of things. I can't say anything without spoiling it, but believe me, throughout the whole movie, you're seeing things from really Hangover 1, and it's cool, and it's really good to see that, and see what effects the first one had on, you know, the people involved, and everything like that, and seeing how it is now, so definitely better than I was expecting in that aspect, and that... I think that's pretty much it for this review. There's not much to I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. If you're considering seeing Hang Hangover 3 and you're not sure, I say see it. It's definitely better than the second one. You're not going to laugh as much as you did in the previous two, but you'll enjoy it. And definitely stay for the credits because there's a scene, and I thought it was the perfect way to end the series. They did a great ending in the movie, and then that was a great ending for the movie. And then they did a cred scene, and that was perfect hangover scene to end on, like, period. So uh, I was very happy with 
not only the ending of the movie, but the ending of the credit scene. So, did you guys like it? I mean, I I think I'm pretty much alone here. I've been hearing bad things from other people, so I, I don't know. I think I'm alone here. But, I don't know. Like our Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, tweet me. Did you like it? Follow me on Instagram, and subscribe, because it only takes that much effort. And write in the comments below, see if you agree with me, Team Joe. Let's see if we can agree to disagree.